Welcome, this is Jason Guevara from the Planners Tip and E-Center and I welcome you here into the office. Um, this, this year we're going to talk about some of the new things uh, that are available, but let's go through some of the basics. If we're talking about arthritis treatments, I take care of mostly hip and knee replacements, but as an orthopedic surgeon I do take care of everything else, sprained ankles, wrist pain, everything else. Um, but um, <clears throat> let's just go over, since a picture's worth a thousand words, this model's even worth more. This is a normal knee. The blue is the cartilage, the white is the meniscus, and there's three layers of cushion for all, each and every knee. If we start having arthritis, arthros is joint, itis is inflammation, and which is the an inflamed joint. And that usually what happens is little bits of cartilage or meniscus break off, and you can see that right here, put right there. And so what happens is this breaks off, causes a lot of inflammation within the joint, and uh, that causes the irritation and the pain. When we have an example like this, uh, this is completely, you know, it's like a pothole or a divot. It's all the way down to the bone. The cartilage is just gone. Uh, this part here is not as bad, uh, but when we have this, this is almost like if you've got one tire that's bad and the others are not so bad, I'm going to ask you a question, what would you do? Change one tire or all four? Now, in this case, it's real simple. This is completely worn out. This is not Arthur. This is Bob. Bone on bone. So the first thing that we do <coughs> is we try to uh, lower our weight, keep our motion. Motion is lotion. Rest is rust. So we want to keep the joint moving, keep it lubricated. Uh, if it's inflamed, we try some anti-inflammatories, maybe some physical therapy. Um, if it continues, uh, and it's just not getting better on your own or even the over-the-counter medications, then what you do is when you come in, if we think that there's a meniscus tear or a little arthritis, say, in the knee, we'll go ahead and try you with a cortisone shot, which is very, very beneficial, and it decreases the inflammation. It puts the fire out. If it works but not all the way, or if you've just had some chronic arthritis, we now have the Synvisc 1. The reason it's 1 is because I'm the only one here. In my office, you get one shot of this hyaluronic acid, it's the it's the from the rooster comb. It relubricates. It's a synthetic oil, so it relubricates the knee, makes it feel so much better, and this lasts for a good six months plus. Um, in other places, you have to come in once a week for five shots. Um, I don't know about you, but I'd rather have one shot than five. Now, one other thing is, I'm the only office around here that actually offers, this is the PRP, platelet-rich plasma. It's also known as stem cells. If we take your blood, spin it down, and then take the healing potential cells and inject it into torn tendons, muscles, you know, like you get a hamstring pull um, into the joint to decrease the inflammation and to kind of repair if it's not too bad. If it's not like Bob, we can still repair some. If that's the case, this is the only thing that we have that we can still repair. Uh, unfortunately, it's not covered by Medicare right now, so, uh, but you can always come by the office, we'll discuss this and tell you how much it costs, but sometimes instead of replacing the joint, we can fix the joint. Now speaking of replacements, <clears throat> we, we talked about that one tire versus four. Well, <clears throat> if you have a worn out kneecap, and the surface is worn out. This is now a partial kneecap replacement. It just comes right out of the model. Take a little shim. We go ahead and glue this into the bone. Put a plastic underneath the bottom half of the patella. Put it together and voila! You've got a brand new kneecap. <clears throat> now if you also have that one tire, like in that uh, example that we had, like this, if this side was good, why replace all, everything? <clears throat> this is more natural. This is called the Oxford knee. It goes back and forth. It actually rotates, which is great for golf in particular, but it just it flexes. It feels more natural. And this is only a partial knee replacement. With this and the kneecap replacement, you actually go home the same day. You don't have to stay in the hospital for many days. This is a much faster recovery. Now, if you have end-stage arthritis, Bob, this is the knee replacement. 
So it basically, we have a component made out of chrome, cobalt chrome. This sticks onto the bone. The bottom half, we have a tray that we glue into the tibia, put a piece of plastic in between that actually rebalances. So like when you have arthritis and you've lost the space, the cushion, this actually rebuilds the cushion. And we have uh, some brand new advances within uh, the techniques uh, of the implants themselves. Some of the best implants we have right here at, at First Health. So let me talk a little bit about <clears throat> another option. Um, let's go over a hip. For the hip, this is the normal ball and socket. So the mechanics are completely different from the knee. When it starts to wear down, you get little bone spurs right around the edge and it starts to wear into the bone here. When it's completely worn out, it's just like Bob, bone on bone. Now this is the one that typically you have groin pain. That's where exactly where the ball and socket is. It's actually in the groin. It's not on the side or behind you. It's right in the groin. So if you have groin pain and you're limping, well, you probably need to get an x-ray and get this checked out because eventually this goes pretty quickly. You can't sleep. It hurts all the time. It's miserable. And when that happens, we go ahead and replace the joint. So let me show you in the larger model. Here's the socket. We put a, a liner in. It could be either plastic, ceramic, or metal. And then in the femur itself, we take an implant, slide it in, and the two then come together. Now we have some new technology in that the instead of gluing the prosthesis into the femur, we can now put it in with what we call super metals, tantalum or um, you know called trabecular metal, where the bone actually grows in to the prosthesis. So therefore it lasts forever into the bone. That's what we like. So those are some of the new advances that we have. We've got all the conservative treatment. Uh, we have heel wedges. We do everything that we can to kind of alleviate the pain and deformities that you have. Uh, we want to try to get you back up on your feet. Uh, and one other thing that I'm very, very excited about is we've gone completely electronic. It's surprising how much paperwork we have even though it's electronic. I don't understand that. But we are electronic records and uh, can send your prescriptions to the pharmacy electronically as long as they're not narcotics. And um, we actually have the, the finest brand new digital x-rays and I'm actually going to show you an example of someone who had some who looked like normal knees but with the digital x-rays we can really fine tune it and see stuff that we could never see before. Um, so let me go ahead and show that to you. Okay, well this is the last thing that I was telling you about, our digital x-rays. If you just look at this x-ray, you see that, you know, it's a normal x-ray. But, we can actually enlarge it, move it around, take a real close look to see exactly all the spaces and how the bones all line up. Now this is very, very exciting because uh, when we go ahead and bring this back down, this person here it looked like a normal x-ray and the kneecaps in the standard views look good. But if you look real carefully, there is some damage right here on this knee. And over here, you see there's some damage underneath. And that is arthritis that um, otherwise we would have said with regular x-rays look normal, even though the patient would come in saying my knee hurts. But now we have many, many different ways that we already discussed on how to take care of this. and. Um, you know, sometimes we have to scope it arthroscopically, do some sports medicine, clean it up and make you feel good. Well, thank you so much for coming by today to the Piner's Tip and e Center. Our phone number is 910-295-7070. Our website is www.pinehursthipknee.com. And with our electronic records, you can actually go on, register, and do everything electronically even before you come into the office. That'll save you a lot of time. But once again, thank you so much.